Hello everyone, welcome back to Tux Writers. From this video, we want to start a new series, an easy but not so short introduction to applied numerical computing. So let's go to see what that is. Okay, so applied numerical computing. This is actually the foundation of all the things that you will see in Tux Writers. So this is pretty important for us. And in order to provide you with some materials, uh, I have already put some uh, some stuff in a GitHub in a GitHub repository. You can access the repository from tuxwriters.com and then this GitHub icon. And this is actually the repo. You can also find the link on the description of this video. So, uh, yeah, uh, we will cover, you know, as part of this course, we will cover the concepts of working with Git and GitHub. But at this moment, you don't really need to do specific things on this. This is just a repository. You can, uh, you know, clone it. You can download it as a zip file or you can view all the materials online because they are actually created using Jupyter notebooks and I have created links to to you know online viewers of this notebook so you don't really need to install Jupyter on your system but if you want to really go into that deeply into that I suggest that you follow the video that we had already to install Jupyter locally and then follow the materials on your local machine. But this is not mandatory, so you can easily follow this, uh, this course uh, via these online tools. What is important to say here is the material and content here are compiled from different sources. I have listed the sources here. So uh, the first one is Lectures on Scientific Computing with Python from Robert Johansson and then practical numerical methods with Python from you know that, that's a great uh, great course I can say by uh, Professor Barba and colleagues and also the third one uh, for finite element that is actually compiled by me but is from another book with, with a very similar content you can refer to these repositories to say the, to the copyright and the licensing things but all these courses are freely available, so I have compiled them together. And I have also made some minor changes to them. So they are now adapted to the content that I want to discuss. Uh, in this video, in this short video as an introductory one, I want to tell you about the syllabus of the course and the things that we will discuss. They will, will be short, but more elaboration are available. Uh, as part of you know as this Jupyter notebook so you can go through them uh, in your own uh, times but um, you know I will cover most of the essential ones in this video series so uh, the table the, the content let's say the content that we want to uh, cover is uh, actually it is this starts with uh, scientific computing scientific programming let's say with python and has quite some uh yeah easy to follow introduction to the python ecosystem and you know relevant libraries including numpy scipy matplotlib and simpy and the reason we chose python for this is because the rest of the course, actually, the rest of the, you know, the, the, the materials are uh, developed in Python. So when we want to talk about finite element method, the codes are in Python and also for finite difference. And that's the reason we, we need an introduction to Python. But this is actually designed to be sort of introduction to scientific programming as well. So Python is actually the tool, but the main concept is of scientific programming. So we first start with that, and then we go to to find a different method. As the name implies, as the name for, I mean, name of the course, numerical computing, it means that we want to solve equations using numerical techniques. And for equations, I mean differential equations, and even more important, because we have a lot to do with this in the future for tax writers, partial differential equations. So one of the famous, one of the most 
popular techniques to solve partial differential equations is finite difference method, which is a very simple one, but at the same time, it has some basics. And if you know the basics, you can easily employ it to solve differential equations. And this course, the second one, the second part of this course is uh, intended to show you the possibilities you can do with finite difference method by implementing it for real cases for some, you know, some applications. So we start with initial boundary problems for ordinary differential equations, and then we go for general aspects of partial differential equations, some quick schemes, some quick illustration of first one-dimensional equations. And then we go to the depth, to the details of convection problems, and then diffusion problems, two famous, two, I can say, frequently used uh, models in science and engineering for you know for Floyd's we will discuss it and diffusion when you want to have this spread uh, uh, phenomena and also for elliptic problems uh, which are actually uh, you will face it most mostly for uh, Floyd flow and this kind of stuff but we will also cover that there are lots of concepts in each each of these uh, you know titles so yeah this will be for the final difference part but in addition to that for finite element method this is the most important part of the course because the material that we will cover next if in the future for tax writers are based on finite element method and finite element method is in comparison to finite difference a bit more complex and it has more theoretical background and foundation so we need to know it before diving into the projects, to, to the computational projects. And this is, uh, to me, th this was actually the best book, the best contents, the best materials I have found for demonstrating and for teaching finite elements. And this is actually very cool, the, the, the approach that the authors have uh, employed to follow the students through, through the, the process of learning the variational formulation of finite element method. And this is based on Phoenix, but we will, you know, we will combine it with some concepts of FreeFem. And also in, in the future, we will have uh, dedicated courses on FreeFem. And then we, we will jump into, uh, uh, to, to, to start to work with the real world projects that I have talked about. So, yeah, this is actually the contents. This is this is the the syllabus of the course. I hope that yeah, it becomes um, a useful one for you, and you enjoy following that with me. So let's go for it. See you in next videos. Bye.